Seven months ago, I started making videos where I supplant myself inside of cities in Bethesda games. I've been incredibly lucky to- This game wasn't actually made by Bethesda. Right. I've, uh, I've uh, considered myself incredibly lucky that I can- They really kind of dumbed it down after this one. You, you know, you're really f***ing annoying. You know that, right? This game was made by Obsidian Entertainment. I know! We all know that! It's a great game! Now can I please get to the part of these videos where I ask the question I follow Chris Avalon on Twitter Alright, where were we? Um, ah, oh, of course Today our journey of not leaving places and games makes its first foray into the wonderful world of New Vegas I'll be walking you through what starting and ending life on the Strip is like We're gonna be confining ourselves to the main Strip of New Vegas as well as both neighborhoods in Freeside Completing as many quests, exploding as many pants, and stretching the logic of New Vegas NPCs to achieve levels of stupidity you've never seen in an effort to answer the question can you play Fallout New Vegas without leaving New Vegas? Oh, and YouTube, I know you've taken a bit of a hard stance on Fallout content creators lately, so I just wanted to let whatever robot out there that's reviewing this video for potential age restriction know that I've done everything in my power to make sure all depictions of moral depravity on display in this video will be fun for the entire family to gather round and assume the position. That's because on this channel, I care about your safety. You're not gonna shoot me, are you? to stay true to the spirit of Vegas, why not gamble on your character build? Using a random character generator online, I rolled for my stats and had to take whatever the first roll I got was. I think I lucked out pretty well, drawing 10 endurance, 7 luck, and the rest at either 4 or 5. Tag skills of repair, barter, and sneak. And I got the traits early bird and good natured. Early bird is an interesting one for this playthrough because at early hours of the day, I'll have plus two to every special stat, late at night, minus one. This could come in handy in the future. After rolling the dice on a character, sit through Ron Perlman's soothing dialogue before Benny eventually hits you with the classic line. Hope this interaction doesn't lead to any kind of fallout between us. Fallout New Vegas. I forgot to mention that we're doing this on hardcore mode, so we'll need to look after our basic needs, but thankfully finding a job in Freeside is easy. There's plenty of places to start off when building your net worth in the slums of New Vegas, but I suggest starting over at the Van Graaff's Silver Rush, because just like in real life, security gets hired no matter how woefully unqualified they may be. Working for the Van Graaff's comes with plenty of benefit. You can watch your boss resolve a tense trade negotiation. Hey, hey, how you doing, man? You look the good. Was delivered. The guns were tight. Can't you tell I'm clearly the most important person here? I should be the one having that meeting, excuse me. Oh, duh, okay, all right, never mind. Just make sure not to interrupt. All new hires at the Silver Rush are given free access to the store's entire inventory, provided you carry anything you take to the bathroom first. We're watching you closely. I'm going to be mostly focusing on a sneak build, so I'll come back here to grab any landmines or grenades I may need in the future. This job is also a great introduction to the different kinds of people you run into along the way. Ready for work, sir. Aw, oh, crap. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. You let my dumbass in! Don't Naked! I wouldn't focus too much on rules, either. They don't seem to be well enforced at the Silver Rush. Don't abandon your post. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, it's the easiest heist I've ever pulled off. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? Yeah, sure. Come on in, man. Uh, hi. I was, uh, can I go in? All right, sir. I'm sorry, but company policy dictates I'm gonna have to put my finger in your ass. Fine by me. <laughs> He's clean. Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? Have you been drinking? What? <laughs> Are you talking back to me? I run this joint, all right? I'm the guy. Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna work. 
You had a little bit of a hard time following instructions. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience. Okay, so you may have gotten fired. Don't blame that on your performance. I'm sure you did just fine. A decent payday, some chatting with the locals, and you're off to a good start. Don't forget to loot up the one customer who attacks you for your first set of clothes either. Of course, that's not the only job you can take in Freeside. This is Vegas, baby. So why don't you try your shot at a profession as old as time? Following a stranger down a dark alleyway. You got a secret down here? Life lesson for you all. If there is a stranger in the middle of an alleyway and they're waving you down, you should always follow them. <gasps> oh no, what if this is a trap? Taking a look at this from our tactical camera view, we can see two operatives off to the side waiting in the wings to snort our insides. I say reverse it on the possible assailants before they even have a chance to get the jump on you. Uh, 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 where are you going? I want to cripple his leg. We're going to cripple this guy's leg. Make an example. What? What? Oh, 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 are we going? <laughs> are we just going back to our plan? All right. What do you got back here? What do you got to show me? Check it out. Between the dumpsters there. Huh? Who's that guy? The last person stupid enough to follow me down this alley. Get this fool, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that play out so stupidly? All right, we got his leg. Now we hit him with the combo. What? Where are you going? Are we just gonna, are we just doing this again? What do you need? Every oh, I was kidding about following a stranger in a dark alleyway, by the way. I was, um, I was talking about being escorts. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Right next door to the Silver Rush is the Atomic Wrangler Casino. Owned by two incredibly square heads, the Atomic Wrangler will be one of your main sources of work once you move into New Vegas. These two human backboards, Francine and James Garrett, will be your points of contact. James has a request for you to deliver some special talent to the Atomic Wrangler. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker, someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Goodbye. <laughs> Great talk. That was old Ben, one of two options we can recruit to fake the boyfriend experience. The other option, Santiago, coincidentally hangs out just across the street from where those thugs will try and jump you. Now Santiago technically has a charisma of two, so I'm not sure how he's selling the whole suave talker shtick. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. It's probably the pencil mustache and Walmart Antonio Banderas impression. He's really doing the bare minimum here, but we'll hire him anyway and chat with old Ben later. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. Just near where we found Santiago is a store you've likely been shouted at about multiple times by now. Stop by Mick and Ralph. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Oh yeah, Mick and Ralph. Hey. I can almost see right down the barrel. You can chat with Ralph at the front desk and pay him to create the program required for you to build a coital engagement apparatus. Are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? Maybe. All right, come back in a couple days. We'll have to stop by here later to pick it up. Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. Beatrix over at the old Mormon fort meets those requirements. And while she isn't privy to this kind of work, the promise of a discount on hooch will get her on board. You can turn in two of these three escorts for a nice XP bump, hit level two, and then since we don't need them anymore, teach old Ben a lesson in why quick saving was invented. Look out! And we're gonna have sex with a robot. A few customers snuck out without paying their bills. Oh shit, she's here. <laughs> why are you sitting on old Ben? <laughs> Don't sit on him. Have some respect for the recently deceased, ma'am. I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. Let me just do your speech check real quick. And, um, no, 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 you owe a debt. Get back here. Oh, she's too fast. How is she outrunning me? You got the job done. Someone news come to see us. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. I know what I'm doing. I got this. Look out! It was a prank. No, 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 it was a prank, it was a prank. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, this is bad. It's working. The strategy is working. Reach for the sky, mister. Hey, all right. I'm sorry, kid. Don't hurt me. 
I guess I should catch you up to speed because we're starting to move pretty quickly right now. While you wait for Ralph to finish procuring Bot.exe, you can also pick up some bounty work from Francine at the Atomic Wrangler. Of course, you could just go ahead and pay her the full amount, whether you chase the bounties or not, for the XP. It won't be too tough to come by around here, but collect XP whenever you can, and we'll come back to this quest later. Snag another 100 XP by playing 10 rounds of Blackjack, and with our early bird trait, we can have a much better chance at winning if we gamble during the real degenerate hours of 6am to noon. You can also get this same challenge XP again by doing it with slots and roulette, but I didn't because those games are lame, not because I had no clue they had their own challenge set until I started writing the script. No, 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 definitely not that. There's also some more work right down the street from, in my opinion, the strangest faction in Fallout history. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. The Kings, led by a man who calls himself the King are a group of relatively good-natured cosplayers who have donned the look and mannerisms of Elvis Presley. Lord have mercy. Now, Elvis impersonation isn't an uncommon thing here in America. From sporting events to talent shows, even Facebook groups dedicated to the craft of impersonating the iconic music star. People love to dress up and pretend to be Elvis. I don't understand it, but uh, it's definitely entertaining. Now, as goofy and fun as all that may be, it's even weirder to think that an entire post-apocalyptic cult rose to prominence in his image. Yes, I use the word cult, because replace Elvis in this scenario with any other Vegas celebrity and it's a cult. What if they were the Angels, a group of post-apocalyptic nomads who came across an old buried DVD set of the former a and &E reality TV show, Chris Angel Mind Freak. Forget about any sounds that you might hear. They adopt the look and feel of Chris Angel himself, roaming about Freeside, attempting outlandish magic tricks for a paid audience of onlookers. See? That's a cult. Anyway, side tangent aside, the Kings are a pretty influential bunch around here, so it's probably good that you help them out. Head on over, see if they remember anything. After questioning whether or not the people of Freeside are putting just a little bit too much faith in a random stranger who seemingly materialized in their universe overnight, head over to the old Mormon fort where you'll interview the victims. Well, it happened at night, around 11. They were big guys, no old geezers like me. That true? Did the king really send you? Oh, ho. <laughs> I am an emissary of the king. Sir Wayne, I have been sent on a diplomatic mission. So according to definitely not his real voice and Sir Wayne of South Tent, you'll learn that it was probably the NCR. Chat with Julie Farkas for more detail and try not to let yourself get too distracted by her mohawk. Hairline fade, 710 bangs. What the f*** is that haircut? A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. Alright, I can't be too harsh. She's not too bad. She's actually really nice. And she can repair your limbs, which is pretty clutch on hardcore mode. Just down the road is a food shelter with two guards posted out front. You'll have to deal with them to get inside. Hold up. What's the password? I don't know. Then go someplace else. Okay, what about you? Hold up. What's the password? Well, okay, that's creepy. <laughs> that's... Hold up. What's the password? Hold up. What's the password? <laughs> you could pickpocket the key off of the guards, but why waste the XP? Fuck. Is it gonna work second time's a charm? Holy shit! Look out! Julie? I'm gonna need more medical attention. Don't look at me like I just caused a nuclear explosion right outside the door, okay? That was not me. <laughs> Why are their faces just so... Ugh. I feel like I walked in on something I shouldn't be seeing right now. Nobody's talking to each other. Nothing's being sold. Report back to the king on whatever the hell is even happening here. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't something I support. No, sir. All right, well, I'm kind of on your kind of on your side here. King, we've got problems. Pace What the hell is going on? What did you get yourself into? These soldier boys don't kid around. They took out two of my guys right away, and now the rest are too scared to move in. All right, I got this. I got this. I can hit the shot. You gotta believe. Shit. Jesus, the, that shot. Why is all the pressure gotta be on me? I don't even like the king. Right? This was your plan, huh, Pacer? We just walk straight up. I become a bullet magnet. Oh, hey, there's Elizabeth. Oh, I was supposed to talk to her. Maybe I can't blow up the C4 but maybe I can shoot it. 
I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm actually good at Fallout. I've already heard all about what happened, and all I can say is that I and all of Freeside thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, we can help addicts around town? Let's get our uh, karma up. Drop drinking? <laughs> Why stop? I've been drinking for a straight month. I feel great. Dixon. 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 All right, Dixon. Turn around. Face the wall. Hands behind your back. Wow. You really suck at this, don't you? Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? You're damn right you are. Between the p***ing, corporate espionage, and the, uh, stopping the handout of food to the poor, or something, you're really starting to turn some heads around town. It's about time that you reward yourself, and it's good timing, because Ralph's ready for us to- Ooh, now hold on one second, who is that? Hey man, can you spare a few caps? Sure man, here you go. Ow! What the hell was that for? Look man. I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. That'll do. Mess with the garrets again and you're dead. I won't. Thanks for not killing me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Looks like we found the other bounty for the garrets from earlier, but don't go thinking I'm a terrible person for murdering a man whose only crime was being the nicest person in Freeside, okay? There's still some benefit. The fine proprietors of Mick and Ralph's appreciate that kind of attitude and would like to offer you a discount on their fine wares. Yeah, well, tell your bosses if they're gonna give me a discount to stop shooting me. Ah, so close. Yeah, Mick and Ralph won't be big fans of you splattering Grex's brain matter into three different time zones. Unless you perform severe discrimination first, that is. That's it. No one insults the eye. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? Anyway, Ralph's done with the program, so you can collect the tape, run over to the hardware store, and... Assume the position. Operation complete. Ha, ah, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers, I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit. It's worth a little extra because it's gonna keep on satisfying you. My god, imagine the possibilities. And so that's pretty much all she wrote in terms of Freeside. Editor's note, but uh, we did pick up the dog Rex from the Kings. You just gotta run over, talk to Julie real quick about it, run back to the dog, and then bam, you can have a dog in tow while you commit war crimes. I'm sure I missed a few things, and by this point in the video, several New Vegas tryhards are probably typing up an essay on everything that I've done wrong. Unfortunately for them, it's my channel, and uh, I can do whatever the fuck. Partner. By this point, you should be about halfway to level 7. I've primarily invested in barter and sneak, with some petty points towards energy weapons and explosives. You can follow suit or go your own path, it's kind of the beauty of this game, but it's important that you have a good feel for the playstyle you're going for as you head to the strip, because there's a lot more to do, a lot more to break, and the way in which you can break things will likely be determined by the build you've gone for. In my case, as you've already seen, I'm going to be showing you all the different ways in which you can apply a strategy I now like to call the sneak and explode. So the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. Okay, I lied. There's one last freeside item we gotta take care of. We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. Don't bring my mother into this. Piss off, Aaron boy. I believe I've scientifically proven the absolute best way to take this guy out. We can't convince him. I'm not effective in a shootout. So, sneak and explode. Holy shit. Oh no, there's so much collateral damage. <laughs> At least we got our target. <laughs> and no one noticed a thing. Don't do this now, why now? You were perfectly fine with it five minutes ago. Mm, okay, looks like the world is prepared to handle our dastardly tactics, but what if I told you there's a way around this? Remember we learned from our poor friend Grex that so long as it's not us who initiates violence, things might turn out all right. So the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. No shot if this works. I'd rather not waste the ammo, kid. But if you insist, draw. Hey, don't run towards me. Don't, don't run towards all of them either. Oh my god. This couldn't be worse. Rex. <laughs> oh man. Slain in the line of duty. <laughs> Of course, I'll redo this with my dog outside of the genocide zone, but if you didn't know, now you know that you can initiate a hostile conversation in New Vegas after planning an explosive if you're quick enough to the draw. Ironic. 
Plus, you get to watch your victim dance for a few seconds beforehand. If you leave the area, then come back, which is when the guards all attacked me the first time, you'll be good to go. This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. All right, now we're done with Freeside. A big XP boost to level seven. We even have a home here, and there's plenty of options for when we're feeling, uh, you know, a bit lonely. Meet me upstairs. Thank you. I will meet you in your room. The only thing standing between you and complete dominance now is the strip. There is an absolute ton to cover here, so it's easy if we start one place at a time. And what better place to start than the hauntingly degenerate Gamora? Boasting the shortest floor manager of the three major casinos, Gamora is a haven of some of the nicest people you'll cross in your time on the strip. What the f are you looking at? Whoa! What the f There's a few quests we can take care of here. Mick, back in Freeside, wants us to secure an arms deal with the Omertas. That's the gang who runs the joint. Real nice folks. Hello, hello, who are you? What the f are you looking at? What the, why does everybody have to talk to me like that? Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? <laughs> You'll also come across an employee named Joanna, who back in 2010 had 14 year old me checking the hallway to make sure my mom wasn't about to walk in the room. Well, what do we have here, huh? You've heard about the mistress who makes all your fantasies come true. Now that you've found me, I wonder, do you have what it takes? Mom, I'm scared. Can you please come pick me up? It takes caps, honey. Lots of them. <laughs> this has been happening too much. I need to stop getting distracted by all these sexy ladies. Hey there, gorgeous. Okay. I'm not giving you 100 caps. I already paid. Robbed again. I knew it. I keep getting swindled by all the sexy ladies in Vegas. This isn't the last we'll be seeing of Joanna, but while you're at Gamora, take a walk around the hallways, scope out the joint, make sure none of the guards are anti-dog people. What the f are you looking at? <laughs> hey, don't talk to Rex like that, man. You think you know a guy. I was just getting ready to tell you how awesome this place is, aside from the wildly grotesque audio track you'll hear coming through the walls at all times. I'm pretty sure I can't even share the audio on YouTube, and I've written every description I could think of out of this script because each one got continually more graphic than the last. Screaming lovers aside, we need a way to get revenge on these dog haters while keeping our quests and reputation intact. Wouldn't be a challenge if we didn't, right? You've got the obvious plant a grenade and hide behind a corner maneuver. Rex, you good? Oh, I almost killed Rex. Rex, get back in here now. Oh, I can't forget about the... Oh no, stop it, Rex! Rex, don't attack the dealer. Stop it, Re Rex. He just wants to play, he just wants to play roulette. <laughs> Rex just kinda has a mind of his own. Not really. See, I was able to take out several guards which are well worth the XP boost, but this sets them all to hostile even though my reputation is still intact. If any of them even become suspicious of me, Rex will go into attack mode. Take out a few more guards for some XP until you start feeling the heat. With all the guards confused at whether to be accepting of or angry at us, we'll definitely have our work cut out for us later when we come back here, but I think it's time we take a moment to appreciate the scientific nature of this experiment. What I love most about these videos is the unyielding nature of video games to fall apart at the seams when you focus solely on just one or two areas. Which is why it kinda disappoints me that the most memorable moment in this entire series to most of you is 500 gold street bussy. Come on, grow up. I love taking large game worlds and putting one or two locations under the microscope because when you're playing these games normally, it's so easy to miss so much. But even on a normal playthrough, this bug would have thrown me for a loop. What happened to you? What? What? Who are you? Is it possible? I mean, he's losing a leg. Clear evidence of explosive damage. This was my first time ever being on this section of the strip, so immediately seeing two dead bodies was uncanny. My original theory was that these NPCs were caught in the explosion earlier, the game didn't process their deaths correctly, and it's trying to weekend at Bernie's them along their daily routine. I wasn't quite there yet, though I am getting close to the real answer because after some more digging at the original crime scene, a uh, legal self-defense with unfortunate collateral scene, traveler missing a leg. Is that the same one? Let's check his inventory. Tinted reading glasses, caravanier outfit, kind of looks like Harry Potter. NCR Ranger! Long black hair. Traveler, missing a leg. Looks like Harry Potter. What do you think is going on here, Rex? NCR, okay, now, remember this stance. Yeah, no, let's not remember that stance. Take it easy, take it easy with the arm placement there, ma'am. 
Same pose. Oh, oh, there it is. That's the money shot. We've got teleporting corpses with movement and position translating through loading screens. I've never seen that before. I've tried looking this glitch up and come across empty. If you've seen it before, hats off. But I guarantee most of you haven't, so congratulations on being the first people in the world to officially become educated in uh, teleporting corpse physiomonogamy. That's what we're calling it. Get over it. It means, uh checkered soup. What in the goddamn? You're goddamn right. Of course, no trip to Vegas is complete without seeking revenge on the flattest performance of Matthew Perry's career. I'll give it to Benny, though. He somehow convinced an entourage of suited up clowns to take him seriously while dressed in a picnic blanket. It's one of the biggest questions you'll ask yourself when starting a new Vegas playthrough. How do I deal with Benny this time? One of my favorites is to make use of the Black Widow perk to get into Benny's pants. All right, honey baby, this is all kinds of wrong, but to my sweet it is. But since my character isn't a woman and rather an apex of hyper-masculine energy, we'll need to find a different way into Benny's pants. A speech skill of 60 gets you up into Benny's suite alone with him, but I'm stuck at speech 35. The good news is there's a really simple workaround. <sighs> Arriving at the tops gives you a massive amount of XP. Put a bunch of skill points into speech, drink some booze, wait until the exact time zone where the early bird bonus gives a plus four bonus to speech, then pickpocket the key to the room that Benny will eventually take you to, steal the meeting people magazine off the table, read the magazine for a speech bonus, and... Luck is for losers, baby. Holy shit! Hey, there's the high roller. Hey, hey, hey you're right, there's me. Might as well steal some free XP. Holy shit! Nice! I've always wanted to eat chairman. Allow me to introduce myself. You can call me Yes Man. The eyes of the mighty Kaisa are upon you. Enjoy your visit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hide out in here for a few days. You take your obligation to deliver a package very seriously. You have a way of exceeding expectations, don't you? Uh, you know, I, hey, I work hard. I play hard. Do you really think I'm going to let an upstart come into my home and ransom my property to me? At long last, Mr. House, your savior has arrived. Why have you done this? No, I just don't like you. Critical strike on Mr. House. <laughs> like we're actually in combat right now. Ah! Yeah, fucker. Put him up. Put him up. <laughs> I'm sick of you. <laughs> Knockout punch. A crappy rat hole? My vault? You are in for a I got a bit ahead of myself since Mr. House isn't technically dead yet. The timing was funny though, I couldn't help it. I also left out the quest where you have to hire talent for Tommy Torini at the top, say that five times fast. There's only two comedians you can hire in town, so sadly, Tommy Torini at the tops is likely gonna have to close this place down, leaving these two out of work. What else are two washed up comics without jobs supposed to do? Who hate comedians. They hate us. Who are anti-comedy and anti-joke. It's gotten to the point where you can't say anything. No, literally, you cannot say anything. Comedy is an art form. But yeah, of course right? it is. We're artists. It's an art form. And, what, and, 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 and it's important because it's one of the yeah. only art forms that is not gay. No. In the farthest section of New Vegas is a place I like to call Cut Content Land. I'm not too sure if that pen name is based in any reality or not. I'm no New Vegas historian. Go to Mantis's channel for that kind of in-depth analysis if you want it. Nothing here really hits me with that, ooh, I can do this here, feeling that every single location beforehand elicits. I didn't even know you could get a camera here. Michelangelo's? This place exists? It's in the game? No, no. I refuse to believe that this place has been here the whole time. We'll start with Vault 21, a vault converted into a hotel with a life support system you can't mess with, sadly, vast open rooms with no one in them, sadly, and a background audio track that hauntingly sounds like the ghosts of all the NPCs that didn't quite make it into the final product. <laughs> There are thankfully a handful of NPCs walking about who have no affiliation to any factions or quests and they like to sleep alone. You know what to do. 
You're gonna wanna grab the Mr. Sandman perk, that's how I'm giving these vacationers a close shave, and at 50 XP a pop, it's a sweet deal for trading nameless tourists in for XP. They also make a great snack, so now you won't even have to buy food anymore. If you get stuck with two in one room and get caught, <laughs> this is awesome. 150 XP. Murderer! Oh no! Of course there's a way out of it, who do you think I am? Here goes nothing, <laughs> here goes nothing. Keen-eyed members of the audience will notice that even though our planted grenade took out both tourists, we still got the 50 XP Mr. Sandman bonus on the second, and we didn't get caught. I was able to get around an extra 300 experience just from this vault, so stop by if you need a boost. There is a quest here as well, and along with it another incredibly strange glitch to add to a now ever-growing list. So th there should be a character right here. Oh wait, Carlitos, this is the guy. Come on, get up. Hey Scram, come bung me when I'm at the diner. Okay, now he should be in here by now. Ah, oh, there he is. Wait, no, 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 we got him. We got him. No, 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 go back in. Hey, Scram. Stop it, go back in. <laughs> go in, you're right there. No, turn around. Damn it, Carlito, get- oh my god, everyone here is useless. Nobody wants to talk to me. Don't go back to bed. It's 11. Okay, he's getting back up. Target is back on the move. Come on. Stop. Oh my god, you are such a- There he goes, he's going again. What is- what is happening to you? He's taking the shortest naps ever. He's microdosing naps. I'm not sure what causes this endless loop of Carlito sleeping, walking to the diner entrance, and then quickly running back for a power nap, but if you get him on this square, this exact square. Hey, do you mind? I'm trying to drink myself to the ground right here. We got him. I can't believe we got him. You have to catch him at the perfect moment inside the doorway. Wow, that is stupid. <laughs> Carlitos needs our help with a special friend of his. It's Joanna. She... Works at Gamora. Uh, never heard of her. Do you have what it takes? I moved her into Gamora. I was in love, okay? You think I can just waltz in there and take her away? She's there, doll, now, okay? You'll want to help Carlitos out, but I understand your hesitancy if you burned bridges at Gamora like I did earlier. We'll check in with her in a bit. I shouldn't act like this section of New Vegas is completely devoid of any fulfilling sense of achievement, though. The NCR has declared you a terrorist. Oh, <laughs> okay, hold on. To be honest, I haven't heard anyone say a negative word about you. <laughs> now I know how bad this looks, but I promise you it was all just a well-intentioned misunderstanding. With your track record of dutiful charity back in Freeside, you can pick up the unassuming Arcade as a follower and show them what you're all about. Now I'm gonna give you a brief presentation of what you can expect in your time with me. I'll do my best. Nice, nice, Arcade. All right, you're following step by step, so you're gonna crouch down like this, okay? Now, when you see someone sleeping, you're gonna make sure to approach them slowly, bring up this dialogue menu, and... Just nice and easy here, right? Just a surgical, precise cut right across the. And, you narc! You're we're, you're already off to a really shitty start here, arcade. Now, what you can do if you're hungry and you need a little snack? Excuse me, doctor. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, you might want to look after that guy in there. He's having some trouble. I bet it feels real nice to be carrying those weapons around on the strip. It's your first time on the strip. Now I live here. Not getting started off on the right foot here. The NCR still has a strong presence here and can make your stay unpleasant. You're on the list. You just made my list. You're so dead. I feel like I'm not allowed up here. Can I gamble? Can't hit the slots. This takes us to McCarran. Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 hey. Oh my God, Arcade, you're a psychopath. <laughs> what are you doing, Arcade? <laughs> you're a psycho, Arcade, but go. We're all rooting for you, buddy. <laughs> Arcade, why? The NCR has declared you a terrorist. We've heard about you from the officers at our embassy. Only good things, I assume. See, I told you it was a misunderstanding. If you head down the road to the NCR embassy, I'm sure you can work this all out. Oh, uh, I guess not. No half measures then. Here we go. You have been evicted from the strip. Arcade, open fire. <laughs> Quick massacre break so I can drink out of the toilet. <laughs> Hold on, Arcade, I'll be there soon. Heard you snuffed that Benny guy. Good riddance, guy was a scumbag. Hey, I like you, I like Jake. You like that? Whoa, Jake, I thought we were cool. 
<laughs> I thought we were friends, Jake. Don't make me do this. Jake, I really don't want to. You're my best friend in the whole world. Arcade, you doing all right back there? Don't, don't, don't ble- That was my kill. What's amazing about all this bloodshed is that the guards in town will seemingly be on your side. That's right, you own them. Wow, Mr. House had quite a setup here. With the NCR deposed, Mr. House replaced with Face from Nick Jr. and the entirety of Freeside still convinced you're their savior, Let's knock the Omertas off our list next, but remember that these tips operate on the assumption that you followed my lead exactly, and if that's true, everyone inside Gamora will be hostile towards you. This complicates things a bit because we need to initiate conversation with Joanna. Hard to do if everyone in the area hates your guts. Joanna, please, please, can we not? And we want to try as best as we can to secure Mick's gun deal, which seems like a lost cause, seeing as we'll need to talk with the actual boss of the entire gang. The first order of business is to try and break the combat encounter so you aren't being chased around everywhere. Yikes, that's a lot of shooting. Okay. All right, he doesn't see us. <laughs> We're somehow getting away with it. It is surprisingly easy to stay under the radar once you reach Sweet's level. The next step should be pretty easy to predict. Heads up. Oh. Heads up. <laughs> it's too easy. I'm a ninja. Nothing like munching on some Omerta. What is going on in here? Was that you screaming? I need some answers now. This woman is dead. Would you like to inspect her to see if you can get more inform- Hey, big guy. Looking for a good time? Ma'am? <laughs> Step away from me immediately. Give me some sugar. Get away from me, ew. Still caution, caution. Oh. <laughs> Come out. No, no, damn it. What the fuck are you looking at? I've got you now. Sneak around and take out enough omertas and you'll eventually clear a path to sneak out to the courtyard without an entourage. Joanna, talk to me. I've got one. No, 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 Joanna, no. <laughs> Joanna, please, please, can we not? This is fine. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> it's, uh, it was an accident. Right, so if the entire hotel is hostile, you still need to avoid getting caught by Joanna, as ridiculous as that is. So sneak up close without getting caught and then initiate dialogue and you can get the quest moving. If you think you can help me, follow me to my room, please. Inform Joanna of her totally stupid and not nearly as handsome as you boyfriend's plan to escape. Let Carlitos know that we'll be ready when you are. You'll need to chat with Carlitos again to finish this quest, so head back through the way you came to- Sal! Holy sh- Hey, thanks for all the help back there. No clue what you're talking about, but you should start buying guns from Mick and Ralph again. All right, you've done some good work for us. What, what, what have I done for him? Even if what occurred in the 20 minutes between talking to Joanna and this encounter happening didn't happen. I would still be completely mind blown that this is possible, but after blowing up and eating nearly every resident of his entire hotel, Big Sal seems rather amicable. It's nice to have friends on the strip, you know? All right, come back anytime. Mick hooks it up with the solid golden pimp boy. That's the pimp boy 3 billion you've seen in a lot of my B-roll shots today. Head back to Carlitos and he'll send you to also enlist the help of a duo whose entire dynamic revolves on who currently has more facial hair. Just talk to Big Beard next to me, pal. Whoever's got the biggest whiskers does the talking. I want a friend group that handles situations like that. You know, the next time I hang out with my non-bearded friends, whatever I say takes precedent. Meet up with Joanna, her friends, Carlitos, and the beard guys. I guess they're invited. For my beard, I do as I promised. Predictably, there's a shootout, but you'll prevail, claim victory, and at least be able to hang your hat on one good deed if you can discount the murder and cannibalism. Now, I've talked on for a long time, gone through almost all the content available on the Strip and Freeside. For as much as I've shown, I've also left out, and if you're curious, I have all the uncut stream recordings on my second channel. Now, one thing that I hid from you at the start of this video is a decision that you'll actually have to make within the first hour of gameplay. Who will you give the most power to on the Strip when all's said and done? Mr. House is gone, the NCR wiped out, the Omertas are literally a combined YouTube terms of service violation, the Chairman? Give me a break, they almost let Benny win. The Kings? Nice try, I'm crazy, but I'm not joining a cult. There's only one casino and one faction that perfectly suits that of a more 
morally inept psychopath. Now the debts are paid, the pastries are baked, there is one thing left to say, the delicious last course, delicious last course, delicious last course. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? Oh, yeah. Saw him here earlier. What? Oh, my God. Where? He's over in the bathhouse wearing a skimpy two-piece bathing suit. What in creation is the matter with you? Ain't you ever been a parent? Okay, that might actually explain why I've never been a parent. That was Heck Gunderson, the most ranch guy of all time, and his son is missing. Now there's a bunch of ways that you can handle this quest, like way, way more than any of the others. The long short of it is, Heck is a client of the casino. Big time baller this guy is. Mortimer is a cannibal. Mortimer is trying to bring cannibalism back in style, and it's crucial that he has a well-fed country boy, corn and soil, to serve up at this dinner. You can either help out Heck and free his son, get rid of Heck and let dinner commence normally, or seek out a replacement mark by setting up a trap. Or the only option that really made any sense to me. Hmm, he's a little thin. He looks like he comes from good stock with that strong jaw and upright posture. Very well. Replace him in the freezer with your friend and we'll have a deal. Dude, not so loudly. He's standing right behind me. Come on. Scoot your tasty little hiney in there. Yeah, what's your opinion on the current situation you're in right now in this moment? I think you're on the right track. On behalf of my colleagues, allow me to extend my thanks. I hope you understand what a tremendous boon this will be to your standing in society. We'll know after tonight's banquet at 7 o'clock. Ooh, 7 p.m. Get your finest checkered suit and... Wait, oh, why, why, why is everyone hostile? Why am I not allowed at my dinner? That's only happening because of me. All right, fine. I'll get a disguise and I'll show up that way. That what? what? You like that? Ugh, so rude. Can you believe some of our butlers? Ugh, how dare they? I just want to enjoy a meal. Please, please, please. You're causing- oh, uh. All right. Now I can join the party. <laughs> can you believe that the, the front desk gal? What was that all about? All right, Mortimer, go ahead. Come on, let's hear it. Well, it looks like Mortimer has cold feet and that he doesn't appreciate the sacrifice that I made for his lifestyle. I don't know why I'm even down one rung on the cannibal totem pole. I should easily be on top. I've eaten over 30 people since I've gotten here. They've been struggling just to have one. If cannibals are really to be the strongest faction on the strip, they need strong leaders. F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free. Creditreport.com, baby. Saw their ads on my TV. Thought about going but was too lazy. Now instead of looking fly and rolling fat, my legs are sticking to the vinyl and my posse's getting laughed. 